one of our favorite coaches to talk to here on the New Sentinel Sports page, the head football coach at Navy. Ken Neal Matalolo joins us here on the New Sentinel Sports page. Hey, Coach Vincent, Dan, how you doing, Coach? Hey, Vincent, Dan, how you guys doing? Thanks for having me again. Oh, well, always enjoy it, Coach. And how has this off season treated you? I know you, uh, as a coach, you, you squeeze in a, a vacay, probably go back home. Uh, how has the summer been for you? I definitely did do that. I go home. You know, I go home every summer. Uh, it's try to get away, get on the North Shore of Oahu, wear flip-flops, uh, just kind of relax there, just kind of you know, recharge your battery, so to speak, to get ready to go. But um, as much as I love to get ready to go home and enjoy myself back home, it's, I guess it's time. You know? And so I think everybody's excited to get back at it. Last year, Coach, you guys uh, at, uh, at five and seven, I know you had higher expectations than that. And, and a rough stretch in the middle of the year. What, what was the difference during that, that tough stretch in the middle of, of the year with that six-game losing streak? Well, we normally, our games are always going to be close. You know what I mean? We're, never, we're, we're not a program that can blow people out. And just in the years past, as we've won those games, you know, the mm-hmm. close games. Uh, last year we lost five of our seven losses were by 11 points. You know, so, you know, we missed some field goals or missed a block here, or just a play here or there. And, uh, we just got to go back. You know, I was listening to you guys prelude, you know, to Coach Saban talking about a sense of entitlement. And that's kind of been our approach, too, is just um, I think guys forgot how hard it is to win here. You know, we can't take anything for granted. And it's made us make sure we realize we go back to the drawing board and start from ground zero and just uh, starting with the fundamentals. Coach, I wonder if you talk a little bit about that opener, not, not only facing Notre Dame, but, but in, in Dublin, Ireland. Do you – do you like this kind of a game to, to start your season? Um, I mean, it's really unusual for, in a lot of different reasons. Um, uh, talk a little bit about that game. Well, I know our fans like it. You know, it's kind of an exciting time to think, the, you know, go out of country to play a great program like Notre Dame in Dublin. And so there's some excitement to that. But just logistically, you know, as I look at it, my main concern is just to make sure I was just looking at, in fact, at our plane manifest of who's flying over, um, going with us. You know, normally we go on the trip, it's just us. Uh, we got bigger planes, so there'll be other people on the plane. I just got to make sure that our kids don't get caught. This isn't a circus, and this isn't a vacation. You know, we're right. going to play a very good football team. And so that's one of my main concerns. You have a game like this, you leave a little bit earlier, uh, the time difference. And so... Uh, uh, it's definitely a big concern, just that alone. Plus, we have to play Notre Dame, so uh, it makes it tough from a scheduling standpoint. But we just got to find a way to get ready. We're visiting with Navy head football coach Ken Neomatalolo. Navy at uh, taking on Notre Dame in Dublin, Ireland, and then at Penn State after a off weekend. Thankfully, at least after that long trip, it's sort of like the NFL does with their games in London. At least you get some time after that i know you probably don't want to speak about the specifics of penn state coach but what do you learn uh what should programs learn from what has transpired at penn state maybe moving forward uh, as an example well i think you know you can't be in this country not to know what's going on or to hear what what's going on with penn state and just i think first and foremost i'm just the whole situation is sad you know it's a major tragedy First and foremost, for the kids and their families, you know, we're, you know, we're fathers, and just to think of something like that is just that's first and foremost the the victims. You first feel for them, and some of the things that transpired after it just makes you reflect, just to make sure that you're doing all is the right thing, you know. And so, um, I guess just the whole situation is just a very very sad situation. Um, I feel for the guys that are there now. You know, the players and coaches uh, were involved with some of that stuff, but it's, uh, it's it's definitely a sad situation. Did the NCAA do the right thing in trying to maybe send a message in the future? Uh, you know, I think they took some right steps. You know, it just I, I've thought about it this way. You know, I, I know a lot of people have asked me that, and just I don't know. You know, I'm just a football coach. I'm not a, a judge, a jury. Just obviously what they did was grievous. I don't know to the extent – what the punishment should be or what should happen, uh, you know, I don't know. I just, um, I just, uh, like I said, first and foremost, I feel for the for the kids and those, the, the victims and uh, 
whatever they feel the just punishment is. But I don't know. I mean, it's it's a different realm. We've we've never had to deal with something like this before, so it's unprecedented in you know in its, its scope and its magnitude. And so, I think a lot of people are uh, there's there's no blueprint, you know, of what what to do or what you know what the punishment should be. Coach, when you look at this season and, and where what areas of your team are you really focusing on in terms of we we've got to get better here. Uh, in, in terms of how it will affect our entire season. And this is kind of cliche, but really for me, just going back to our whole mentality, just uh, never forgetting who we are. We're the Naval Academy. We're not an SEC team. we got to play harder than everybody. we got to be tougher than everybody mentally. Uh, we can't have any type of sense of entitlement. You know, so that's the thing that I've thought about for our program. Yeah, there's going to be schemes, and there's things that you do schematically. There's personnel issues that you have but my main thing is our mentality that we got to come to work every practice every period every play and every game and we got away from that a little bit last year you know i think we like all right we've been to this many bowl games we've done this and kind of like coach saban said earlier i think you know uh it could be it could be a could hurt you at times and it hurt us last year as a program coach when you talk about making attempting to make an upgrade in, in this in this area, do you really have to have some good leadership? Do you have to have players on board that are, that are understanding what you're talking about and can sort of be a, uh, a medium for that kind of a message back to the back to the ranks? No doubt. You know, some people say, well, you're at the Naval Academy, you got hard workers, you got disciplined kids, and that's true, but we're still human. You know, and you still get people patting you on the back. You know, like you said, you've won this many games. You've been to this many bowl games. Nothing's guaranteed. Every year is a new year. you got to wipe the slate clean, and you got to go to work. And so our leadership this year, I've been very pleased with our off season. Uh, our guys have, you know, worked really hard. They look very good, you know, as we get ready to report. And so I'm excited about where we're at. I uh, haven't had any off-the-field issues, which is great. And so I think our kids have been focused. Um but it definitely starts with the leadership. And sometimes what happens is you've got guys in the program that have seen success, and they don't know how hard it was to get there, and they take things for granted. And so I think last year, uh, hopefully it won't happen again, but I think our guys realize you can't take anything for granted. You've got to come to work every day. Joined by Navy head football coach Ken Neomatololo, 46 years old, and the, the, the winningest coach in, the, in school history in the first four years, 32 wins and first four full years of the program and coach uh, if you could kind of take us through your your offense and some of the key things for you that you're looking to, to get done in areas that uh, that you think you get you can be pretty good in you know we're normally always obviously we're going to rush the football we're an option team uh, you know we, we've been in the top five for the last whatever many years we feel like we have to get better though at running the football and so we we'd like to get better at Coming even, you know, one, two, or even in the top three in rushing the football. And we realize that we have to become more efficient at throwing the football and throw it more. You know, we're not going to throw the ball 30 times, but we need to throw the ball more than 10 times a game. Uh, defenses are getting too good. Uh, people are getting better at defending the option. Even though there's not many teams that run the true triple option, because everybody in the gun runs the zone read and different variations of the option out of the spread, uh, people are getting better at defending it, so we realize that we got to get better at throwing the football. Uh, defensively, we got to get better at, you know, getting pressure on the quarterback. You know, it's not a secret. Like everybody else, everybody's in the gun throwing the ball. And uh, the days of sitting back and playing coverage, people are getting too good. You know, they'll pick you apart. And so uh, we realize that we got to get better at getting some pressure on the quarterback. A couple of exciting things for Navy. First, you, you're you going into the Big East in 2012. Talk about that, first of all. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's uncharted waters for us. Uh, we're excited about it. We've been independent for so long, and it's been, it's been a good formula for us. But, you know, with the landscape of college football changing, you know, every six months and yearly, we were concerned about where we should go and what we should do, and so... We've decided to go this route. Uh, we're excited about it. It's going to be a great challenge for us. But we've realized that we've had to upgrade everything, from facilities to personnel to our thoughts in recruiting, 
to the way we coach, just everything. And so um, um, things in the past weren't good enough, and we've got to make sure that we, you know, take another step up. 2015, I think I might have said 2012, 2015. And then also getting a, a, an agreement with CBS Sports and and their cable network as well so to, to get a lot of those games on television. I know that's got to be a, uh, a nice boost and advantage for you as well. Well, our athletic director, you know, Chad Gladchuk's done a great job in, you know, in hustling and, and marketing our program. Being independent is tough. Uh, you know, there's if you're Notre Dame and, you know, everybody wants to play you and you got that type of prestige and everybody wants you, it's a little bit different deal. But if you're independent and you're, you know, scrambling to find games and schedule and get bowl tie-ins and TV contracts, it's tough. And so we feel like we're very fortunate to, to have that. Coach, you've recruited the state of Tennessee, the southeast, frankly. How, how is that going? I know you have at least six Tennessee kids, a lot of them from the Nashville area, all on your roster. How, how is recruiting in, in Tennessee? And, and from your vantage point, how is the talent uh, in, uh, in the state of Tennessee? Uh, we feel like it's been great for us. You know, it's just we feel like, uh, you know, our, our recruiter down there does a great job, Coach uh, Ashley Ingram. And, you know, we've recruited in uh, Atlanta for a long time and just felt like there, you know, there are a ton of people in that area. So we started to move a little bit out and go to Nashville, and it's been a great, great area for us. Uh, I enjoy going down and recruiting. Also, got good food down there, so that's a <laughs> great excuse for me to go down there and get some great recruits. But it's um, it's been a great area for us, and we hope that we can continue our pipeline down in Tennessee because uh, the results have been very, very favorable for us. Coach, do you feel like the the, the conference affiliation and, and some of the other this other exposure th- things here, will, how much will that help recruiting? Do you feel like we feel like it's already helped us. You know, I just I feel like you know kids have seen us on TV and they see us an Army Navy game or the Notre Dame game, and I think they also realize that if we have a chance to go to a, to a conference, they feel like that you know that we're moving up as far as status in football. Now we know that the Big East right now is going through some transition, but it's still been a great boost for us. It's helped us in the Louisville area as far as recruiting in the different areas, and so um, to this point, it's been good for us. Any talks of any SEC games in the in the future? I know you're focusing on this year, but uh, any SEC uh, non-conference games in the future, you think? No, you know, I, I know there have been some in the past with Vandy and some stuff, but I haven't seen mm-hmm. stuff. You know, I obviously, uh, with the conferences getting bigger, and this is one reason we felt like we had to get in the conference. As conferences get bigger, it's, there are going to be less non-conference games. You know, I mean, you're going to have to play your own people. And so it's getting tougher and tougher to schedule uh, in conferences, um, so at this point we haven't had much. Um, in your which doesn't hurt my game. feelings. I mean, not the league. I'd like to schedule a ton of games. <laughs> your series with Notre Dame will continue, right? Definitely. Uh, yeah. That's a, uh, you know, the Army game for us. You know, that's not going anywhere. And mm-hmm. had discussions with our athletic director that we'd love to keep the Notre Dame. Uh, it's been a great recruiting tool for us. Um, and they've been great to us. Notre Dame has been a great partner with us. and so uh, They've beat us for so many years, so it's worked out for them too, but uh, hopefully the Notre Dame game won't go anywhere. And Navy continues to have success against Army, 27-21 win a year ago, and uh, in this year uh, that game will be in, uh, in Philadelphia. Hey, Coach, great to catch up with you as always. You, uh, you know I enjoy it, and, uh, and thanks so much for the time, and good luck in, uh, in the start of 2012. All right, guys, take care. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Coach. That's Ken Neomatololo.